measures of central tendency. Lesson objectives. Determine the mean of a variable from raw data. Determine the median of a variable from raw data. Explain what it means for a statistic to be resistant. Determine the mode of a variable from raw data. Lesson objective number one. The arithmetic mean of a variable is computed by determining the sum of all the values of the variable in a data set divided by the number of observations. The population mean is computed by using all the individuals in a population. The population mean is a parameter. The population mean is denoted by the Greek letter mu. So mu is the sum of all the values in a population divided by how many values in that population. This is the mathematical notation for sum. So we're summing up all the x values, the observations, starting with 1 and we're going all the way to n and we divide it by n and that is the mean. The sample mean is computed by using sample data. The sample mean is a statistic. It is denoted by this symbol which is pronounced x bar. Again, the same formula. We add up all the observations and the sample and then we divide it by that number in the sample. And again, here is the mathematical notation. Notice that the n is a lowercase n to denote the number of observations in a sample. Capital N is the number of observations in the population. Let's look at an example. The following raw data are the ages of students who completed the student survey during the early fall term 2009. Here's the raw data. There was a total of 149 students who took the survey. Now if we were to add up all these ages and divide it by 149, that would be the average. Now let's look at how we would compute this using Minitab and StatCrunch. We'll begin by using Minitab. Your first step, you go to Stat. Then from Stat, you choose Basic Statistics and then Display Descriptive Statistics. You get this window. You select what variable you would like. We're going to look at Age. And then you select OK. In the session window, we see this. The mean of the ages would be 26.164 years. Okay, let's look at StatCrunch. Okay, your first step is to go to Stat, then Summary Statistics, and choose Columns. You get this window, select your age, and hit Calculate. The mean is denoted, and again, it's 26.164. Lesson objective number two, determine the median from raw data. The median of a variable is the value that lies in the middle of the data when it's arranged in ascending order from smallest to largest. We use a capital M to represent the median. Here's the rules for finding median. You first have to arrange the data set in ascending order from smallest to largest. Determine the number of observations. Then step three, we determine the observation in the middle of the data set. Now, if the data set has an odd number of observations, it is exactly in the middle and it is in the position n plus 1 divided by 2. If the number of observations is even, then the median is the mean of the two middle observations in the data set. That is, the median is the mean observation that lies in the n divided by 2 position and the n divided by 2 plus 1 position. We're going to let Minitab and StatCrunch compute the median. So Minitab, again we go to Stat, Basic Statistics, and then Displays Descriptive Statistics. Again we select the variable that we would like to find the median for. We're going to do Age, and then we hit OK. In the session window we see the median is 23. In StatCrunch, it's just like finding the mean. We go to Stat, Summary Stats, we choose Columns, select our variable, we're going to use Age and then we hit calculate. The median is 23. Lesson objective number three. Explain what it means for a statistic to be resistant. We'll start with an example. The following data represents the travel times and minutes to work for seven employees at a startup web company. We have 23 minutes, 36, 23, 18, 5, 26, and 43 minutes. Now suppose a new employee is hired who has a 130 minute commute. How does this impact the value of the mean and the median? 
The mean before the new hire was 24.9 minutes. The median before the new hire was 23 minutes. The mean after the new hire went to 38 minutes. And the median after the new hire was 24.5. So both of them increased. But the mean went from almost 25 minutes to 38 minutes. That large value had a big effect on the mean. So which one does a better job of describing the typical value? Well, in this case, I think the median would. A numerical summary of data is said to be resistant if extreme values, either very large or very small, relative to the data do not affect its value significantly. So the median is resistant to these extreme values. The mean is not. Every single value affects the mean. That's its strength and that's also its weakness. So let's look at some shapes and see the relationship between the mean and the median. If we have a data set that is skewed left, the mean will be smaller than the median. And the reason why is because these smaller values here on the left tail are going to have a bigger effect on the mean. Now these smaller values here, the median is more resistant to these smaller values than the mean. So this is why the median is larger. If you have a data set that's symmetric, the mean and me median are most likely equal. And if you have a data set that is skewed right, these larger values on the tail are going to affect the mean more than the median and the median is going to be more resistant to these larger values than the mean. So if we have a data set that is skewed left, the mean is going to be more left, a smaller value than the median. If we have a data set that is skewed right, the mean is going to be larger than the median. Let's look at a data set. The following data represents the asking price of homes for sale in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find the mean and the median. Use the mean or the median to identify the shape of the distribution. Verify your result by drawing the histogram. Okay, so let's say we put this data in Minitab or StatCrunch. We found the mean to be $168,320 and the median asking price was $148,700. Because the median is smaller, than the mean, then we would we would guess, we would conjecture that the distribution is skewed right. Okay, so let's put it in a histogram. As we can see, we have a longer tail to the right side, so this is skewed right. These values here have a stronger effect on the mean than the median. The median is more resistant to these values. So if your data set is skewed left or skewed right, the way to describe the typical value or the center would be using the median. If the data set is symmetric, you should use the mean. Lesson objective number four, determine the mode from raw data. The mode of a variable is the most frequent observation of the variable that occurs in the data set. If there are no observations that occur with the most frequency, we say the data has no mode. Let's look at an example. The data on the next slide represents the Vice Presidents of the United States and their state of birth find the mode. About the only time that we use the mode is if the data are categories. The state of birth for the Vice Presidents is categories. Here's all the Vice Presidents and we see corresponding states of birth. If we tally these, we see that New York has the largest frequency, 8. So the mode is New York. So let's summarize the measures of central tendency. We should use the mean when the data are quantitative and the frequency distribution is relatively symmetric. The mean will provide us the best measure of the center of the data set. Sometimes the mean is also known as the center of gravity. That's the interpretation of the mean. It's the balance point. The median is the number exactly in the middle of the data set. It divides the bottom 50% from the top 50%. And we should use the median to describe the center of a data set when the data are quantitative and the frequency distribution is either skewed left or skewed right. The last measure of central tendency is the mode. It's the most often. And we use that when the data are categories or when the data set is qualitative. Thanks for watching.